Professor Yuan Jin Sou, Professor Yoshiro Onida, and everyone. Thank you very much. Kamusa Munida, Sheshe Nini, Danke Shi. Now, the title of this talk is On Relation Between Potentials for Pluri Harmonic Maps and Para Pluri Harmonic Maps. This talk is based on a joint work with Professor Joseph Dorfmeister. Now, let's start talking. <coughs> no? Oh, no. Introduction. <coughs> on the one hand, the notion of pluri harmonic map is a generalized notion of harmonic map from Riemann sound. On the other hand, the notion of para pluri harmonic map is a generalized notion of harmonic map from Lorentz surface. In this talk, we aim to interrelate pluri harmonic maps with para pluri harmonic maps. Okay? It is known that there exists a relation between pluri harmonic maps and pluri harmonic potentials. And moreover, there exists a relation between para pluri harmonic maps and para pluri harmonic potentials. By interrelating potentials, we will interrelate pluri harmonic maps with para pluri harmonic maps. <coughs> so, let us explain this relation more precisely. One can obtain para pluri harmonic maps from para pluri harmonic potentials by means of loop group method. In this talk, we will explain this relation later. This talk consists of five sections. In section two, we will first state the main result. In section three, we will recall the notions of pluri harmonic map, para pluri harmonic map, and loop group. <coughs> In section four, we will study the relation between para pluri harmonic maps and para pluri harmonic potentials. Finally, in section five, we will actually interrelate a para pluri harmonic map with a para pluri harmonic map. Okay? The main result. We are going to state the main result, which enables us to interrelate a para pluri harmonic map F1 from A to N into G1 over H1 with para pluri harmonic map F2 from B to N into G2 over H2. Here, both A to N and B to N are real subspaces of C to N. And both G1 over H1 and G2 over H2 are closed symmetric subspaces of GC over HC. First, let us consider these subspaces A to N and B to N. So if the A to N is a certain domain in C to N, A to N ah, is certain domain, yes. certain domains in C to N. Ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. right. 
define uh, <coughs> we define two real subspaces A to A and B to A by these conditions respectively since we want to consider a pluri harmonic map and para pluri harmonic map we need a complex structure on A to A and A to A and B to A, real vector subspaces. Yes. Yes. And so we need a complex structure on A to A and a paracomplex structure B to A on B to A. Because we must, we want to consider pluri harmonic map and para pluri harmonic map. Let us define a complex structure J on A to A and a paracomplex structure I on B to A as follows. Okay. Then we can obtain a simply connected complex manifold A to A J and a simply connected paracomplex manifold B to A I. We will study a pluri harmonic map from this complex manifold and a para pluri harmonic map from this para complex manifold. Now, let us consider these subspaces G1 over H1 and G2 over H2. <coughs> Let G sigma be a simply connected simple complex linear algebraic subgroup of SLMC. Let sigma be a holomorphic involution of GC. And let new A be an anti-holomorphic involution of GC, which satisfies two conditions. Namely, sigma is commutative with new A, and new one is commutative with new two. <coughs> we denote by HC the fixed point set of sigma in GC by GA the fixed point set of new A in GC and by A the fixed point set of sigma in GA which coincides with the fixed point set of new A in HC. Then, we can obtain closed symmetric subspaces GA over HA of the symmetric space GC over HC sigma. Okay. From now on, we are going to state the main result. The main theorem. Let eta theta tau theta be an analytic para pluriharmonic potential on the paracomplex manifold B to M I. And let F2 denote the para pluriharmonic map constructed from the potential by means of proposition. Here, we will explain this notation, parapuruli harmonic potential, this proposition later. Okay? <clears throat> Let us say this statement again. Oh. Let eta theta tau theta be an analytic para pluri harmonic potential. And let F be the para pluri harmonic map constructed from this potential by means of proposition. Okay. Now suppose that the potential satisfies the condition M. 
we will explain this condition later. Suppose that potential satisfies condition M. Then there exists an open neighborhood B of A to N at zero <coughs> and a smooth map HC from B into HC, satisfying two conditions. The first condition, C dash lambda, defined by this condition, always belongs to the Li group G1. The second condition, a map F1, defined by this condition, is a purely harmonic map. So, let us say again. Let eta theta tau theta be an analytic parapluri harmonic potential. And let F2 denote the parapluri harmonic map constructed from this potential by means of proposition. Suppose this potential satisfies condition M. Then there exists a purely harmonic map F1, which is related with F2, as in this form. <coughs> Roughly speaking, the main theorem implies that from a purely harmonic potential satisfying condition M, we can obtain a purely harmonic map and a parapluri harmonic map. Okay. Preliminary. We are going to recall the notions of purely harmonic map and parapluri harmonic map. In order to do so, we recall the definition of harmonic map. Definition. Let Mg and Nh be pseudo Riemannian manifolds where M is oriented. <coughs> then a smooth map F is called harmonic if the map F satisfies the condition 1. The trace of Nabla bar DA with respect, with respect to G is equal to zero. Here, Nabla bar denotes the induced connection on end TM F inverse TM from Levi-Civita connections on M and L. <coughs> this is the definition of harmonic map. Remark, if the dimension of M is equal to 2, then we can, we can deduce that the definition of harmonic map depends only on the conformal class of the pseudo Riemannian metric G. The conformal class corresponds to the complex structures on M when G is a Riemannian method. Moreover, the conformal class corresponds to the paracomplex structures on M when G is a Lorentzian method. Therefore, <coughs> we can rewrite the equation 1 as follows. F is harmonic, namely the map F satisfies the condition, this condition. If and only if F satisfies this condition, nabla bar d del del z bar del del z is equal to z for any local holomorphic coordinate z z bar on M when M is a Riemann, Riemann surface. On the other hand, the trace 
of Nabrabadi is equal to that. If and only if Nabrabadi del del y del del x is equal to that for any local paraholomorphic coordinate x, y on M, when M is Lorentz surface. Sorry, what does paraholomorphic code? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, so. Hmm. Should I? Oh, Lorentz and metric? No. So, uh, let M2 G be a Lorentzian surface. Lorentz. G has a signature 1, 1. Okay? Then there exists a Paracomplex structure. On M. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, paraholomorphic, local paraholomorphic coordinate means coordinate system which satisfies this condition. Yes. I square equal identity. Yes. Okay. Oh. Identity. And though. Uh, so. uh, Paracomplex structure means. Excuse me. I prepared the definition of paracomplex manual. So this is a definition of paracomplex manual. Okay. So paracomplex structure means one one tensor field satisfies one two three conditions. Okay. Relation I and T. Ah, relation. Ah, yeah. Uh, so relation g i x y is equal to g x uh, i y, which is equivalent to g i x i y is equal to minus g x y. So Lorentzian surface has such a structure: metric g and paracomplex structure i. Moreover, I and I is related to with G as in this formula. Oh, okay. So, ah, uh, so so so. Um, Ah, trace number of DF is equal to zero if and only if F satisfies this condition. These statements lead to the definitions of pluriharmonic map and parapluriharmonic map. Definition. Let MJ be a complex manifold of real dimension 2A and let N number N be an affine manifold, where number N denotes a complex torsion free affine connection on N. Then, a smooth map F is called purely harmonic. If F satisfies the condition H, here, nabla, nabla denotes the induced connection on and TM, F inverse TM. 
from D and Nabla N. Where D denotes any complex torsion phi affine connection on the complex manifold MJ. This is, a, this is the definition of pluriharmonic map. From now on, let us recall the definitions of para pluriharmonic map. Definition Let MI be para complex manifold of real dimension 2N. And let M nabla N be an affine manifold where double N denotes torsion free affine connection on N. Then, a smooth map F is called parapluri harmonic. If F satisfies the condition P. This is the definition of Parapluri harmonic map. From definitions of Pluri harmonic map and Parapluri harmonic map, it follows that the notion of Pluri harmonic map is a generalized notion of harmonic map from Riemann surface. On the other hand, the notion of Parapluri harmonic map is a generalized notion of harmonic map from Lorentz surface. So we want to explain the relation between parapluri harmonic map and parapluri harmonic potentials. In order to do so, we first recall the definition of loop group. Loop group. Let GC be simply connected, simple, complex, linear, algebraic subgroup of SLMC. Let sigma be holomorphic involution of GC. And let nu be an anti holomorphic involution of GC, which satisfies this condition. Then, the twisted loop group, lambda GC sigma, is given as follows. It is known that the twisted loop group, lambda GC sigma, becomes a complex Banahali group with respect to this norm. So we want to consider a real form of the loop group lambda GC sigma. So by use of nu, we define an anti-holomorphic involution, nu s, of the loop group by this condition. We denote by lambda G sigma the fixed point set of new S in the loop group lambda GC sigma. We will state a decomposition theorem for a loop group. Therefore, we need some notations. <coughs> Let us define four subgroups lambda plus minus G sigma and lambda plus minus star G sigma of the loop group by these conditions. Okay. And moreover, we need the following loop group. Define a subgroup lambda tilde G sigma of lambda G sigma by this condition. In a similar way, we define these subgroups. With this notation, with this notation, we can state the following decomposition theorem. This theorem 
is called the Iwasawa decomposition of a double loop group lambda tilde G sigma. Third, the multiplication maps, multiplication maps are real analytic diffeomorphism morphism onto open subsets of the double loop group lambda tilde G sigma respectively. Here, triangle lambda tilde G sigma times lambda tilde G sigma denotes the diagonal subgroup of the double loop group. By using this theorem, we will explain the relation between parapluri harmonic maps and parapluri harmonic potentials. Oh, remark. Hereafter, we consider that for any element a lambda in lambda tilde g sigma, the variable lambda varies not only in S1 but also R plus. In section 4, relation between parapluri harmonic maps and parapluri harmonic potentials. <coughs> we are going to recall the notion of parapluri harmonic potential. In order to do so, we need following notation. <coughs> Let G sigma be a simply connected, simple complex linear algebraic subgroup of SLMC. This is the same setting. Let sigma be a holomorphic involution of GC. And let nu be an anti-holomorphic involution of GC, which satisfies this condition. Then we denote by HC the fixed point set of sigma in GC, by G the fixed point set of nu in GC, and by H the fixed point set of sigma in G. These settings, settings are the same settings stated before. Moreover, we need the following notation. G is equal to H plus N denotes the canonical decomposition of the symmetrically algebra G D sigma. And pi denotes the projection from G onto the symmetric space G over H. <coughs> By use of uh, the notations, we can consider subspaces lambda tilde minus one infinity K sigma and lambda tilde minus infinity one K sigma of lambda tilde K sigma. Okay. By use of this notation, we can define P plus G and P minus G as follows. We denote by P plus G the set of all lambda tilde minus one minus one infinity G sigma value for holomorphic one homes on N. And denote by P minus G the set of all lambda tilde minus infinity one gay sigma values par, par anti holomorphic one form on M. Here M denotes a simply connected para complex manifold. Okay? With this notation, we can state the definition of parapluri harmonic map uh, parapluri harmonic potential. Definition. An element in P plus G times P minus G is called a parapluri harmonic potential on the paracomplex manifold M M I. Okay. <laughs> Remark that for each potential, eta lambda, tau lambda, the variable lambda can vary not only in S1, but also R plus.
proposition. <coughs> This proposition enables us to obtain a parapluri harmonic map from parapluri harmonic potential. Proposition. Let eta theta tau theta in p plus g times p minus g be a parapluri harmonic potential on the parap complex manifold MI. Then, the following three steps, S1, S2, and S3, provide a R plus family F theta of parapluri harmonic maps. Step one, S1. Solve the two initial value problems. Solve. Step two, factorize the solutions. A, a minus theta, a plus theta. Factorize the solutions in the Iwasawa decomposition. <coughs> by use of theta, this part, by use of C theta. Define a map F theta as follows. Then, a ma the map F theta becomes a para Pluri harmonic map for every <laughs> theta. Okay? This proposition implies that from a parapluri harmonic potential, <coughs> we can obtain a parapluri harmonic map. Okay? Let us recall the main theorem. Main theorem is as follows. Let eta theta tau theta be an analytic parapluri harmonic potential on the paracomplex manifold B2MI. And let F2 denote the parapluri harmonic map constructed from this potential, okay? By means of proposition. Suppose that the potential satisfies the condition M. Here, nu1 means, uh, nu1 is an anti-holomorphic involution of the loop group lambda GC sigma, defined by this condition, this condition, okay? Suppose the potential satisfies condition M, then there exists an open neighborhood V, of A to N at Z, and a smooth map HC from B into HC, which satisfies the two conditions. Okay? Let us say again. Let eta theta be an analytic parapluri harmonic potential. And let denote the parapluri harmonic map F2 constructed from this potential by means of proposition. Suppose this potential satisfies the condition M. Then there exists a pluri harmonic map F1, which is related with F2 as in this formula. <coughs> this is a <coughs> this is the main result. From now on, we will construct a pluri harmonic map F1 from A4 into GR24 C and para pluri harmonic map F2 from P4 into GR24 C dash by means of the main result. Where GR two four C and GR two four C dash are complex and paracomplex Grassmannian manifolds, respectively. Hereafter, we will use the following notation. We denote by G C uh, <coughs> the complex. Huh? 
the complex special linear Lie group of degree 4. We define maps sigma and nu1 by these conditions respectively. Moreover, we define map F2 by this condition. Then, we can obtain three symmetric spaces, GC over H, and uh, moreover, both G1 over H1 and G2 over H2 are closed symmetric subspaces of GC over HC. We denote by pi A the projection from GA onto the symmetric space GA over HA and by G2 the real algebra of the Lie group G2 okay. <coughs> by use of nine notation um, we actually interrelate a pluri harmonic map with parapluri harmonic map First, let us define a lambda tilde minus one infinity gets sigma value paraformorphic one form eta theta on the paracomplex manifold B4 by this condition. Okay? And define tau theta by this condition. Then we can obtain an analytic parapluri harmonic potential, eta theta tau theta, on the paracomplex manifold B4, which satisfies the condition M in the main theorem. Okay. Now, solve the two initial value problems, two initial value problems. Then, the solutions are as follows. A minus theta is this one, a plus theta is this one. Okay? Let us factorize the solutions a minus theta, a plus theta in the Iwasawa decomposition. Then we can obtain uh, B, plus, uh, B theta plus B theta minus and C theta. C theta is given as follows. By use of C theta, we can obtain parapluri harmonic map by means of proposition. Let us say again. Proposition implies a map F2 defined by this condition is a parapluri harmonic map from paracomplex manifold B4 into paracomplex uh, para Grassman, Grassmannian manifold GR24 C dash for every theta. Now, <coughs> we want to get a pluri harmonic map. Let us explain how to get a pluri harmonic map. Substituting lambda ZA and ZA a bar for theta a x and y i y a respectively respectively we can obtain c lambda z1 z2 z1 bar z2 bar it is natural that c lambda satisfies this condition so c lambda always belongs to the Lie group g1 because G1 over lambda times plus lambda times Z1 bar are real number and this is a purely imaginary number. Consequently, a map F1 defined by this condition is a pluri harmonic map from A4 into GR24 complex Grassmann Grassmannian manifold. Okay. Consequently, we have obtained a pluri harmonic map F1 
and p a r a p l u r i h a r m o n i c m a t e f t s e and our references are as follows. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions?